Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 25th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. So yes, a fairly good day, up in nearly 1%, but considering the news of the day that there is a deal on infrastructure, which has been... Um, which has been expected for quite some time, but uh, it's not really been expected to pass. But there is a deal now, and it's almost certain that it's going to pass. Uh, the market is only up, well, in the S&P 1% and the Dow Jones 1% and the Nasdaq roughly half a percent. That is not a very encouraging sign because it feels like the both the Fed and the U.S. government have basically used both of their bazookas, and the market hasn't really done that much we have of course this massive rally here but that was mainly due to this massive fall as well so reaction to that but there is not a lot of good news that could come out in the next few days we could see this market go a little bit higher but um, but expectations for more good news at this current stage are not very high so so we could see this tumble before going higher so just keep that in mind. We're trading at the 4,266 at this current stage. We are approaching basically the all-time highs or roughly are at the all-time highs here. And the technical indicators, they are fairly bullish. MACD is crossing the signal line, indicating bullishness. The stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. We are at the top of the bullish band and we are 60 at the RSI. So RSI is still fairly low while we are basically at the top of the bullish band. So a pullback will mostly find buyers at the middle of the bullish band, roughly at the 4,220. And the 50 moving average down here to 4,190, give or take. And then if this basically breaks these uh, these previous lows here, then we could see a drop towards 4,000 and then towards the 200 moving average. We're still in an uptrend, and uh, as long as the 50 moving average is holding, then we are going to go higher. Long-term target at this point looks like it's going to be 4,500. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is um, rallying, and it's a fairly uh, bullish candlestick, as there is nearly no pullback at the end of uh, the session. We are right at the 50 moving average. We need to break the middle of the bullish band in order to go to the top here at the roughly 35,000. Technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still in negative territory, but it is turning around. And when it crosses here, that is going to be a fairly uh, bullish indication that we are going to see the Dow Jones go uh, significantly higher in the next, um, the next few weeks. Um, it has tumbled quite a bit. And mainly due to the banking sector pulling back significantly due to the fact that um, interest rate will not be increasing uh, for a very long time. But infrastructure bill is going to be um, something that pushes this market higher. question is how long this market can last on that news. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see that stochastic is bullish, that the CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If you take out these previous lows here, then we could tumble to 32 and the 200 moving average at 31,300, 31, give or take. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is getting fairly overstretched. We are having quite a bit of a pullback here at the end of the US session. And I would not be surprised if this fell back towards uh, uh, 14,000 before going higher. So a drop of roughly a three to 400 uh, points to the downside as we are approaching overbought conditions. And we are basically at the top of the bullish band. So something similar to uh, this is kind of what I expect before going higher. So long term target here will be 15,000 and then significantly higher than that. Most of the stocks that have been tumbling the last three months have really started to recover, and that will mainly uh, benefit the NASDAQ. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX, 
did a horrible day yesterday, and today it is recovering. We're trading just at the 20 exponential moving average. Um, it is struggling here. We need to break above the middle of the bullish band in order to go higher. Kind of looks like we're just going sideways for the, for the last week and a half. Uh, if we manage to break above here, then we could go to the hot top of the bullish band, roughly at 15,800, and 16,000 will most likely be the target here. But, um, if you look at other technical indicators, they are not very uh, bullish. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So, the UK FTSE. So, it has rallied above the middle of the bullish band. It has not taken out the highs of yesterday. And the uh, question is whether or not we will do that or we'll tumble back down. If we if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CGI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, momentum is kind of to the upside. We, if we take out these highs here, then we are going to the top of the range here of roughly 7,200. To the downside, 7,000 will most likely be at the bottom here. So let's look at China 50. So this tends to rally at the end of the contract for at least for on 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 each euro. So it has been tumbling significantly from the highs here of roughly 18,000. Uh, 570 all the way down to 17,000 and now it's rallied up towards the 50 moving average has not crossed it and uh, the question is whether or not we manage to cross it if we do manage to cross about the middle of the bullish band then we're going to 18,000 and probably towards 90,000 again technical indicators they are still fairly bearish but they are turning around so 200 moving average has been tested three times now right here here and also here and we have not managed to basically break below significantly, or the 50 moving average has not crossed the 200 moving average. Um, uh, so that is an encouraging sign that this probably will do attempts to rally and then break down, but in the long run, we'll gradually grind back towards 20,000. That's kind of look what it looks like at this current stage. As long as 200 is holding, then long-term a trend here is that we are going to go towards 20,000 again. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. Good luck and thank you very much.